please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government on MEC scholarships 2019. There are two mathematics exams, one for social sciences mathematics A and another for natural sciences mathematics B. This problem is from the 2019 mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Problem 3 of 1. For the parabola y equals x squared and two points negative 1, 1 and 3, 9 on it, its tangent line parallel to the line through the points, through the two points, is the line y equals blank x plus blank, whose point of tangency is the point blank blank. Let us recall the slope-intercept form of a line. Any line on the xy plane can be written using this form. This is the equation of any line on the xy plane. Here, m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept of the line. We also recall that the slope m of a given line if it goes through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2, that slope is equal to the ratio of the difference in the y coordinates to that of the difference in x coordinates. Let us first draw the given. We are given a parabola. So this is the parabola. And we are told that its equation is y equals x squared, and therefore its vertex would be here at 0, 0. We are also told that there are two points on the parabola that are known, negative 1, 1 and 3, 9. And finally, we are told that the line through this, through these two points, this blue line, is, tan is parallel to the tangent line to the parabola. So we drew the red line, and let's say that is the tangent to the parabola, and it is also parallel to the blue line. So first, we need to find the equation of the red line. That is what we are looking for. And to do that, let us write the slope-intercept form. So this is the slope-intercept form of the line that is red here. So we need to find m and b. m is the slope, and we know that the red line is parallel to the blue line, and therefore their slopes must be the same. We can find the slope of the blue line. Therefore, we can also find the slope of the red line. So let us find the slope of the blue line. That is just the ratio of the difference in the y coordinates of this point and this point so that is 9 minus 1 to that of the difference in the x coordinates so that's 3 minus negative 1 and that is just 8 over 4 or 2 therefore we now have the value for m here so our equation for this red line is y equals 2x plus b and we just need to find b now. To find b, we use the condition that this line, y equals 2x plus b, is tangent to the parabola, which is y equals x squared. For convenience, we wrote subscripts for the y in the parabola and for the y in the line. p stands for parabola and L stands for the line. At the tangent point, or rather the point of tangency, these two equations intersect. And so Y sub B equals L, or rather Y sub L. And if we do that, Y sub B equals this. So we put it here, and Y sub L equals this. So we put this here. And there, Equality is because, again, they are at the point of tangency. These points, or rather these coordinates, y and x, are at the points of tangency. They are equal there. And now, we can 
rearrange this to get this star. Now we need to find B. However, we know that B must be such that this equation has only one solution. It, only, it has only one solution because it is at the point of tangency. At the point of tangency, there is only one intersection, that point precisely. And so, the way we can get only one solution for this equation is for this expression on the left to become a perfect square. So, we need to select B such that this becomes a perfect square. And that value of B is negative 1. And if we select negative 1 for B here, we notice that we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. And that is just the square of x squared, or rather x minus 1. Therefore, x equals 1 if we select B to be negative 1. If x equals 1, then that gives us the coordinate for the point of tangency. Furthermore, if b is negative 1, then we can complete this equation here. This equation is now this, y equals 2x minus 1. Can we just replace b with this value we obtained? Finally, we can compute the point of tangency, that is at x equals 1. So we can substitute this value to the x here or to the x here. Or to the x here. It doesn't matter because they all have the same value at the point of tangency. Let us use the parabola. We substitute 1 for xp here and so that will become y sub p equals 1 squared and we obtain 1. Thus the point of tangency is at 1 1. If you learned something new today Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!